done. I'm gonna decorate the porch. So I'm gonna show you kind of what it looks like now, undecorated, and I'm gonna decorate it for fall. And it's the only space in my whole house I'm gonna decorate because I just don't care about decorating inside my home this year because no one can come in. So we're gonna just decorate the front space of my porch and let people enjoy it that walk by or drive by. Chelsea wants to decorate for Halloween, but I don't think we're gonna do trick-or-treating this year. So I don't know if I'm gonna make the effort of decorating differently for Halloween. Stick around, subscribe, and we will decorate my porch for fall, and that's it. <laughs> So in order to be completely honest, this is what the porch looks like right now. We have a doggy poop bag with water in it. <laughs> this is what the kids do when they go to the park. And I'm gonna take off the red pillows. And I'm trying to figure out what to do differently right here. Right, so I am back. It's been a couple days. Actually, it's been like a week <laughs> since I first started to decorate my porch. It's all done. And I just said this in our daily videos. We also vlog if you are new to our channel. I kind of keep this kind of decor or DIYs or things like that in separate videos. So if you kind of want to see our day, you have to go check out those videos. But I don't have a huge budget. And so just know that like, yes, there's a whole lot more elaborate things that other youtubers do for their front porches I'm not that person because I don't have that kind of money on a budget of $15 I didn't buy anything other than the pumpkins the real pumpkins so just know that this is a very cheap budget front porch so let me show you what I did I have this is what it looks like from the sidewalk out front like I said not huge and elaborate but let me show you some of the details so on the front here I have these big buckets that I got from my husband's store. He hasn't been using them for the past couple years, so he brought them home for me to use, which I thought that was very nice of him because each of these buckets are probably like 20 bucks at the grocery store. <laughs> so I was very happy when he said, oh, I have some buckets for you. I'll bring them home. Then this is the only cost that we had was the pumpkins. I just went to the grocery store. I wanted white ones like this one in the flat but they didn't have any one. They only had the big round ones in white, but they did have a little one in white. So I went with this rust colored pumpkin because I didn't like the orange orange of the regular pumpkin color. And I actually really like it with like the green and kind of some of the little spot marks on it. I really like that. And then I did the white one. And on this side, I just have the plain white one. It needs something else, definitely, but they didn't have any of the pumpkins in this rustic color. I didn't want to like combine another orange color so I'm gonna have to just watch for the stores and get one when I see one. I want to get like the little itty bitty pumpkins, two or three of them, like the 99 cent ones. So I will get some more and kind of fill in the base of this little basket here with some other ones. I'll kind of like prop them in like that. For right now, I just have it like that. All right, then over here, kind of just did more of the cutesy stuff because it's out of the rain and I won't have to worry about it. I did bring in my out indoor decorations because I am not decorating inside like I have said. So I have this little tassel garland and then I have an actual twinkle light garland that I got from the Target dollar spot. And then I have a garland from my friend Mary Berry Boutique. I will put her link to her Instagram account down below. You can get lots of fun holiday banners and decorations that she makes. You can get them pre-painted or you can get them raw and paint them yourself. So I love that about her stuff. So I'll link her stuff down below. I got these from her a couple years ago. And then this little garland, I just cut up fabric and burlap and strung it to some burlap string. And then in this basket here, I just grabbed any of the floral stuff that I had for autumn, any of those deep colors. And I just literally like stuck it in the basket. I have a piece of burlap underneath everything along with something to prop it up. And then I have these two pumpkins here just for extra texture. And then this actually is a wreath. I'll leave a link to the tutorial video for this wreath. It's just on a hoop, but I, I liked this wheat stuff here, but I didn't want to take my wreath apart. So I just kind of stuck it down inside. You see the hoop, see it right down in there? I just kind of tucked them in there and then hit it with the pumpkin. So I just wanted a little floral basket right there. So I made this pumpkin sign a couple years ago and I love it so I always pull that one out and then I have a little basket down here with a fall sign on it and then just a little white pumpkin basket that I set down inside it as well as a little white pumpkin there so like I said that's it I am not a fancy person this won't get wet up here which is one of my biggest concerns but I just wanted to kind of bring in some of my inside decorations so I still get to see them put them outside so one more time 
you can see it here from whole point of view. Just kind of fun to have some fall decorations and put some extra pumpkins out. Like I said, I'm gonna get some more to go in this basket. And then I'll hang lights up from the top of the roof along here. I'll put the twinkle lights across here. And the orange ones, I think, will look really good across here. We tore out the two big, huge pine trees that were right here in front of these two center posts on the front of our house. We tore those out this summer. So we don't have lights to put on those, nor cobweb. The other tree was right here as well. So we kind of have to like come up with a new place to put some of the cobwebby stuff when and if we do. Maybe we'll actually string it from these two posts and kind of make it eerie going along here. Maybe we'll make this guy this tree into like maybe we'll put like those giant like googly eyes inside him and make him like a scary monster or something with some lights around it or something anyway this tree is always good for some cobwebs as well person and I don't go over budget <laughs> so I hope you like this video you guys if you came to this from the perspective of just porch decorations go ahead and subscribe and click on that link we're going into the holidays and although I haven't decorated for holidays all year long because of COVID I will decorate for Christmas I want to give Christmas to my kids my daughter was telling me today she's like it doesn't feel like there's any holiday this year and Christmas is the holiday that is like your inside holiday it's it's where I feel the spirit is of the holiday season is in our home and so I will be decorating and I will be doing craft projects and decoration videos and tree decorations videos and all that kind of stuff in future videos and come back for some more decorating and just join us as we go through our life um, I am really glad now that I've documented our life through this entire COVID process if you're watching this down the road in 2021 <laughs> You can go back and watch the whole playlist of everything that's happened to us during this quarantine COVID pandemic in 2020. So fingers crossed. Hopefully by 2021, we're done with it. And thank you for watching this video. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>